Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntoff. Today, as you can see, I'm by Las Vegas Boulevard. This part of Las Vegas Boulevard is right between the Luxor and Mandalay Bay. So this side street that I'm on, they call it Mandalay Bay right now. But this is what turns into Hacienda. So today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. So the reason I'm down here on this corner is the, the Luxor just submitted, resubmitted plans to have this a tailgate zone down here on this corner. So this is in front of the Luxor. You can see this parking lot here that's surrounded by this fence. So the company is putting in plans to make this a tailgate zone for any uh, functions that are going on at Allegiant Stadium. So what they're submitting is that they would hold uh, tailgate parties here. You know, I'm assuming it's going to be a walk-up zone, no parking. So it's going to be more for people staying on the strip. You know, so you'll be able to either Uber to the lot or take it, you know, or just walk over. Then you can also see that there's this, you got this uh, track going across here. And this would be for, they actually have like a monorail tram type thing that goes from the X caliber to the Mandalay Bay so this front area right here where it's a parking lot right now but it is gonna be tailgate zone they said they'll have food drinks entertainment and it will be they said before and after games so and it is pretty much I'm pretty sure it's even like sponsored by the Raiders Allegiant Stadium and stuff like that so it's gonna be like an official tailgate zone as I'm sure many of you know there's only about 2700 spots at the stadium so most parking you know is off site so it's gonna be uh, you know they're gonna need places for people to have stuff around here all right so they don't have full details they did have approval for this before everything was shut down and the season was canceled to you know the public going so it is back up i don't know if they'll have anything here for the garth brooks concert that's on july 10th or not but they said they'll do it for like the soccer games remember there's the soccer's finals on i think it's august first I could be wrong with that but they're gonna have party areas because a lot of people are asking about that and then they'll have regular tailgating around the around the stadium and the other lots so I'm gonna walk because this road will be closed off then also during game day so you can walk straight up to the stadium so right now local time it's about 942 I'm gonna head to the stadium and see how long this walk takes All right, so this is still the area where the tailgate zone will be. It's all in there. Then they did say, so if we look here, they have this tunnel that goes here. This is right after you get through this tunnel, then you get to a uh, to the stoplight there. Then it turns right by the Hacienda Bridge, or it turns into the Hacienda Bridge. So it's close, but. They did say there's gonna be another spot. I think it's after you get through the tunnel, there's a little parking area there. And they said that'll be like a food and drink spot also. So what I'm thinking that one's gonna be is just trying to catch all any people just walking by, you know, coming from like Excalibur, Park MGM, all that area down, down off Frank Sinatra. They'll be able to get people over there to get food and drinks before they get to the stadium also. So, all right, so here we go again. I'm getting ready to walk. It is 9.48, so let me see how long it takes. All right, it took me two minutes to get to this corner here. 
So I just walked through the tunnel. You can see over there where the cars are going through. They call this road Mandalay Bay Road, but it is really Hacienda. This just goes between, as you can see, Mandalay Bay over here and then the Luxor. So this, it, this other corner here, they're actually cleaning it out right now. You can see some of the heavy equipment in there. So this is supposed to be another food and drink area. So I'll pan on to the left here. So what they're trying to do, I guess, is get you know as many people as they can to get some drinks and food before they head to the stadium. So this is the Hacienda Bridge right here. And then we got Mandalay Bay, some of their stuff in the way, but the stadium is you know right across the bridge. So we're gonna go up over the bridge and see what they're doing. It's a windy day today. We've been getting a lot of wind this past few days again. But nice weather right now. It's probably 75 degrees out here. All right, let me head up on over that bridge. Okay, I'm now at the top of the Hacienda Bridge. This is where I always stop to take my stadium uh, videos. So it took me from the front of the tailgate area by Las Vegas Boulevard to this spot. It was about seven minutes. So you gotta remember there will be lots of people crossing uh, over the bridge. That road will be closed. So figure if you're drinking, partying, a lot of people, probably at the most 15 minutes. And then you know, you're right by the stadium. So that's a good alternative, especially if you are staying out here and don't want to have to park your car, you're staying at a hotel. You just gotta make it to Luxor, Mandalay Bay area and you can tailgate there before the game. So I'll swing around here, I'll show you the area. So there it is there. You can see the tunnel, the very top of the walkway that goes over the road. So that's that area there. So that's where you would walk. Right on this bridge, there'll be no cars. All right, the other big news. Well, last week, of course, the draft. So if you haven't seen my video yet, I did get invited to the VIP draft party last Thursday for round one. So you could check that out. It was a good time in there. So a lot of people were uh, surprised when they picked Alex Leatherwood first. You know, we all thought defense, 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 but he is a good pick. They're just, you know, I think most people thought he would came like second round or so, but it all worked out. I think we got a lot of good players, you know, from all our picks. So we'll see what we can do this season. All right, but speaking of the draft, I just read this morning, the NFL did release dates for next year's draft in Las Vegas. It is going to be April 28th, 29th, and 30th. So start making your plans now because trust me, Vegas is going to put on a hell of a party. They did not say the plans yet. You know, I don't know if it's going to be the same setup they were supposed to do last year because everyone knows how it was canceled because of everything shutting down. So it's going to be a crazy time out here. So. It is April 28, 29, and 30, 2022. There you go, there you can see the wind's blowing pretty good today. I'm happy they finally put the Raiders flag back up. All right, I'm gonna show over here. We could, can't really see them working on the board, but you can see the lifts. So I'm gonna work my way to that east side and see how much more of that video screen they got done. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it's the start of the seventh week today. So we'll see if they get it done in three weeks or so. I think I'm assuming the main goal would be to have it done before the Garth Brooks concert on July 10th. But we'll keep an eye on it. So if you're not following me and you want to see the progress, 
you know, check it out and uh, you know, follow me and then subscribe. You could get updates on all that stuff. Okay, I'm now in lot D here. Just want to get a good shot of the flags with the constant breeze. Alright, the Lanai doors. So when I was here th for Thursday night's draft party, they did open up the doors towards the end of the towards the end of the party. They actually opened pretty quick. You can see in my video if you watch it, they were finishing opening up some of this left side. So they actually moved pretty quick. Alright, let me work my way to the side here. We can see them. The lifts are still up. I know when I was here, I think it was last time I was out here, they weren't working on it and it was really windy that day again, so I don't know if it was because of the wind or not, but you can see they're still working now. All right, I'm right on Frank Sinatra by gate eight. So this is right next to the giant Yesco sign. So I'm standing right next to it so you won't see the, can't show you the sign, but you can see the base of it. Then we pan on over and we can see the three, three different crews working on the, on the Prism View Media Mesh. So it is very windy on this side. Not sure how much wind noise you're getting in there, but if you look at the plants, you can see it. Very windy. You can see on those lifts that they have the umbrellas for the shade, so they look like they're, they're not blowing around too crazy, but these guys are moving. You can see something sticking out there. I don't know if that's a panel. Here it kind of looks like it is. Sorry for the shake, it's just zoomed in so far now with the wind trying to hold it steady. So that appears like a panel because they always snap them in or you know put them on the bottom and then they just snap them into place on the, all this rail system. Let me go up to these other guys up top here. The viewfinder, I can't make out what they're doing because of the reflection. Then we got another crew that's right above. Oh, they're, looks like they're moving into place. Looks like he has a tape measure there. Pretty sure that's what we're looking at. So maybe they are readjusting these uh, the horizontal brackets. All right, so we got them doing some kind of measurements, and then we got crew at the bottom. So the, the lower crew, they're coming back up now. So you got that panel that's like sticking out there, then they're coming back up with something. There they come. All right, let me move closer and then we'll see if we can figure out what they're working on. All right, these guys got up here quick. 
get a better view from getting the side view here. There you go. So you just saw how he pushed the panel into place just like that. From this angle, you can see more of the screen on there. And what I've noticed about the screen now, they have a nice and tight, all the panels are like perfectly tight against each other where before there was a lot of spaces. And I think a lot of that had to do with the way they were, uh, if you remember how they had like that pie shape between two sections so they had to like fill those gaps in after the fact so now they're getting everything in there you know fitting really good it's hard for me to tell what they're doing here kind of looks like he's I mean, it's just the viewfinder so hard but it looked like they were using like some kind of come along type thing to pull the stuff closer guess I'll know more when I download it impact wrenches but I can't tell who's using it right now I'm sure you guys can hear them on the on there oh, here we go these guys are doing it so there you go you can see right now they're moving these mounting points to adjust them to tighten everything up But from here, look, you can see how much they have done. I'm gonna move down straight on so we can get a better view of everything. All right, we're now straight on view. So you can see how good the screen's looking here. There are no gaps anywhere. So pretty much they're just adjusting the the horizontal brackets as they're going so from what it appears to be now if we look at this very bottom left corner you can see a few of the panels here how they're down a little bit lower you can see like the, the top the darker stripe there and then how they connect to these other ones so I think that's what they're working on they're tightening everything up so it's so it lines up better that's the very bottom row there as you can see so if you go all the way then everything else is all lined up perfect so it's looking really good you know, I don't know how they're gonna address the, the angled parts on the you know these diagonal parts here if they're gonna use the same uh, trim pieces they were putting or not but it's looking really good it looks like maybe that's a pretty big section they got done it might be about a quarter of the way done but they really just start putting all these back on remember at the beginning they removed everything and then they just start putting them all on so
from the first angle I was at, you could see a lot better what they're like doing because here we're blocked by the, you know, by the lift uh, in the way here. So, but if we look at the bottom on the ground there, they don't have, I only see one pallet. All right, you see where it says VIP, then if we go down, and then back here, those are some of the, that's a pallet with some of the uh, media mesh screen pieces on there. So they only have that one there right now. Okay, Raider Nation, guess that's all we got for now. I did have a few people asking me about the, off-site parking I'll try to get out there in the next week or so to go see if they're starting to work on any of those lots and I'll put a video if I do see anything I would think they will start soon but I haven't been past some of them in a while so we'll check that out I'll keep you updated on the on the Luxor parking, I mean not parking, but their uh, tailgate zone. And then, of course, I'll keep you updated on this video screen. Keep a lookout, I am supposed to go tomorrow to uh, signing. It's kind of gonna be, I don't know if it's a drive-through signing or not, but it's gonna be Renfro and Ingold, so. They're gonna be at God and Ford. You did have to sign up to get free tickets to go to it. But it is Tuesday the 4th tomorrow at God and Ford. It did say in the description that you're not allowed to bring your own stuff to get signed, but they will give you a signed photo, each of them. So I'm gonna to try to get there. I do work, but hopefully it's not gonna be crazy, crazy crowded be able to get in and out quick so I'll if I go there I'll try to do a video of that also all right so they're at, they actually just loaded the guys that just went down they just put a mesh screen into their basket I think he just put another one so that's what they do. They download. So there must be some screens on that side of their lift also. And then these other guys are going to probably grab some out of there. So, all right, Raider Nation. That's the update for today. So everybody stay safe. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk with you guys next time.